Good morning. So I slept awesome last night. It's like 9 a.m. My last day. I'll be leaving in six or seven hours. It's forecasted to rain lightly starting at noon, noon to three-ish. So we'll see what happens there. <clears throat> Luckily I got pretty good coverage here. Um, I'm about to get breakfast on as you can see. Um, coffee as usual, that's no surprise. But then I'm also going to make up some oatmeal. And uh, then take a look at the list again, see what, I want, see what we want to get done. Sometimes the, the seasoning or the actual taste tends to settle to the bottom of these. So I like to stir them up a little bit. Mix them up. Also to save on <clears throat> cleaning and dishware, I usually eat them right out of the packet. So. I'll just add a little bit of water to these. They're waterproof, obviously. They'll hold water, so. Kind of fold it up. Went a little overboard. And plenty of water for coffee. Put that back over the fire for a bit.
good. Now we'll take a peek at the um, sauna, the little DIY sauna. I have not looked at it this trip yet. Last time I moved it 15 feet in, a, in one direction because it was kind of on top of a, a fox den or some kind of animal had made our uh, the base of our Where you put the hot rocks in, they dug it, dug it out deeper, and made it made it their own kind of thing. After us not being here for several months, um, actually, I'll show you that hole first. And also, last time there was kind of a, a few wasps hanging out on the outside of it, so kind of want to be leery of that and check that as well so here's that hole where our sauna used to be not really sure what's down in there or what was down in there um, so yeah I'm gonna pull this last time the wasps were kind of in between the um, crevices. So far, so good. Oh, well, looks okay. I'm gonna actually, last time I did kind of a, obviously a half-assed job of moving this. So I'm gonna reposition some of these outside stakes a little bit. So yeah, this probably won't get a whole lot of use now that it's summer, well spring, summer almost, pretty warm here, it's like 75 or 80 today, but <clears throat> we did use it a couple of times last year, 
So we dig out a hole right here, probably like a foot deep. Um, you have to use the right rocks, ones that won't split. So a lot of rocks, if you get them real hot and then pour water on them, they'll crack and they can actually kind of explode. So potentially pretty dangerous. So we picked up the right kind of rock, uh, kind of put it put them over the fire for quite a while like hard to say how many rocks but a decent amount and then put them move them into a tin pail after they're pretty hot pretty red hot almost and then uh, carry them over here put them in the pit and then carry another little pail of water that you can you slowly put on a little bit at a time and uh, no, normally when we do use this, we also have a, a giant bin of uh, like old blankets from Salvation Army and whatnot. And we put those over top of these tarps so it's more insulated. And we make sure all the holes and everything are more sealed up. Probably put wood on the outside of this so it keeps the tarps and everything down. And then, yeah, it's just tall enough to put two or three chairs in here. We've only done two of us at once so far, but you could probably fit four people in here and just kind of hang out and sweat out the toxins. Um, we also added cedar chips last time, so there's plenty of cedar around here, so we cut it up into fine little chips and along with those rocks, kind of add those shavings on top and it adds a real nice aroma you can do that with other things too probably sage and some other things I'd like to try that too but yeah it's kind of like a somewhat of a DIY cleansing kind of thing especially in the colder months it's nice to do so So I'm going to try that A-B test again with the mic. Um, try it from this distance. This is without it right now, obviously I've got it. Uh, breeze has picked up some and I'm about 12 feet away from the camera. Now I'm going to plug this in. Again, this is a... Uh, It's a Rode video mic. I picked it up used for like 25 bucks. Now I'm going to plug it in. Let's try that again. So same conditions, same distance, different mic. Um, yeah, so back to what I was going to say. I'm going to try and make a um, bushcraft saw horse so probably about this tall um, I'm gonna need 14 pieces of one to two inch probably more like two inch diameter as straight as I can find pieces of wood lengths of wood and I've got twine and uh, got clear conditions for the moment. We'll see how long it holds up. It's get, definitely getting gray out. I think it's 10.30, maybe 11. And it's supposed to rain around noon. So I'm um, going to get it on this and see what we can do. So as much as I'd like to use deadfall, um, I need a little bit greener stuff that'll hold up for this project. So. 
kind of like what I used on that bushcraft um, table, picnic table. So I'm going to have to find some stuff that's alive. Um, there's a few little candidates in this area that I think are just thick enough that'll work. So, and they're pretty straight. I think I can get maybe four lengths. I'll probably have to cut around four of them down. So, start on that.
All right, so that's the general idea. Uh, I ran out of poly twine, so I had to use some lower grade stuff. So next time I, I'm here, I'll have to reinforce that, redo that knot, hit a knot here, here, here. But as you can see, it stays together nice. Um, the reason I did a uh, three instead of just two was so uh, we can put shorter logs in here. Okay, so that's it for this little visit. It's been a good day and a half. Had a lot of, a lot of little changes considering I've only been here, I've been here only like five weeks ago. Got a lot done and looking forward to next time. Uh, in the meantime, look for other little getaways that we got planned and we will catch you next time.